In BC Family Law, pets are still considered property. Now, as with all property, there are different types of ownership. The courts have recently concluded that people who own pets jointly together own the pet as tenants in common, which means they equally own one share of the pet. Now, the most simple way to divide an asset that each person owns one share of but can't be physically divided is to compensate the other person for their share. So if a pet was valued at $1,500, the parent who wanted to keep the pet would have to buy out the other parent of their $750. Now, if the parties can't agree on who gets possession of the pet, this is where things get more complicated. If there is a real dispute about who should have custody of the pet, the judge will have to consider who of the two parties is in the better position to take care of the pet. This may include factors like who has primary care of the children and what responsibilities are there, the lifestyle of the other parent, and whether the pet has any, any special needs and which party may be able to provide for those needs. What's important to remember is that there is no set criteria in the Family Law Act that a judge can look at to decide what is in the best interest of a pet, similar to what is in the best interest of a child. The courts have made very clear that they cannot consider pets the same way that they consider children when making these decisions. So a judge will just have to look at all the evidence they can. An order for shared custody of a pet is possible, but it's very rare. Generally speaking, in that case, the parties would have already decided who would have the pet, and they would just want that formalized into a court order. There was one recent decision where a judge ruled that both parties were entitled to equal share of the pet, but left it up to them to decide how they would make that work. If either of them refused to make that arrangement work, then the other party would have to take the other back to court to get a remedy for that, such as non-compliance with the court order. My advice is, if you and your partner are thinking of purchasing a pet jointly together, have a serious conversation about what would happen in the event that you separate, and put your decision into writing. Most importantly, write down why you made the decision you did. That way, if you separate, when emotions may be running high, the decision will mean more to you.